We're continuing to follow the reaction to the viral video. This is just one of them, showing a confrontation between Native American protesters and a student from Covington Catholic High School. Uh, one clip in particular sparked outrage on social media over the weekend, literally went viral. But as more videos started to surface, opinions started to shift on this issue. Nine on your side's Kate Flexter leads our team coverage at six with the latest reaction to the controversy. Kate? Well, good evening, guys. On Saturday, school officials released a statement condemning the actions of those students. Today, we reached out to the school again, but we still haven't heard back. I think instead of condemning them, we should commend them from, for de-escalating the situation. Today, Republican Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey is defending the students pictured in this viral video. It, it didn't match what I knew about these students, which is they are of the highest character. The congressman says he changed his opinion once he saw a new, longer video providing additional context. They were hoping to learn something about the Capitol, but what they got was a lesson in social media mobs. The original video shows a Covington Catholic student standing face to face with a Native American elder and participant in the Indigenous People's March in Washington, D.C. The man playing the hand drum has since identified himself as Omaha tribe elder and Vietnam veteran Nathan Phillips. The whole idea, the spirit of America, that wasn't it. But this video posted to YouTube by John Duncan is longer and shows a group of people identifying themselves as black Israelites on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Bunch of in incest babies. The black Israelites can be heard yelling at the students. The main student pictured now identified as Nicholas Sandman released a statement. It says he quote did not make any hand gestures or other aggressive moves towards the protester and that he quote believed that by remaining motionless and calm he was helping defuse the situation. And Park Hills police tell me that since that video went viral, the school has received threats online. They tell me they're looking into those threats to see if any of them are legitimate. Reporting live in Park Hills, Kate Flexter, 9 on your side.